In 1933, in Camden, New Jersey, a man named Richard Hollingshead had a very good idea. If people love to drive, and they loved movies, why not combine the two in one attraction? He set up a screen in his backyard, and the drive-in theater was born. His idea was so good that people were soon flocking to outdoor cinemas all over the country. By the mid-40s, 300 drive-ins dotted the national landscape. And by 1958, the number of starlight screens had mushroomed to 5,000. Teenagers were discovering drive-ins and came to enjoy movie classics that were designed with them in mind. Kim Bialek of Baltimore grew up in an outdoor movie fair and formed the Drive-In Theater Fanatic Fan Club. Um, we were getting a lot of letters from people that like to share their stories and um, reminisce about the times at the drive-in. And now that the drive-ins are more or less on an endangered list uh, throughout the country, um, we decided to get the whole country together of all the drive-in fans and, and share our enthusiasm with the drive-in and I started a fan club. What I remember is our mother putting us in those one-piece pajamas with the rubber little footies on the bottoms. Uh, Dr. Denton's, I think they're called. Do I have that right? Um, that was fun. We used to get all dressed up in those and our little jackets. But my mom and dad would be in the front seat and all the kids would be loaded in the back seat. And it was just exciting. You had good popcorn back then and sodas and candy. And it was wonderful. And we'd be excited about the movie right on up until we fell asleep. The drive-ins were very um, inventive in order to survive. You had your in-car speakers, which indoor theaters didn't have to worry about, and also you had your in-car heaters, which was another thing. We had to battle the elements during the wintertime if a drive-in was to stay open. And, um, Don't forget the drizzle guards. And the drizzle guards, too. You always had, you had your drizzle guards, also. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The management of this drive-in theater is happy to announce you can enjoy your favorite form of movie entertainment regardless of rain. No longer will it be necessary to let rain spoil your fun. Now you can keep your windshield clear and dry with a drizzle guard. So next time it rains, don't sizzle in a drizzle. Get yourself a drizzle guard and enjoy the show. Clever promotions notwithstanding, the number of drive-ins has plummeted since their heyday in the 50s and 60s. Victims of changing tastes and skyrocketing land values. Shankweiler's near Allentown, PA, is the nation's oldest operating drive-in theater, bucking the trend with stubbornness and a love of movies. It's a labor of love, more or less, and it's in my blood since I've been here since 1972. Uh, it, that's the only reason that we continue to more or less do it. And I think because, too, like Paul said, it's family operated. It always has been. And I think that makes a big difference. Well, I think the most interesting aspect is providing a, a means of entertainment to the families at a reasonable price. Yeah, they love it. <laughs> we promised them they'd, we'd bring them, and <laughs> they waited to come. <laughs> Oh, the time is now, the time is here. Now's the time for a bite of cheer. A tasty light where the price is right. Well, look at here, you'll dig this sight. Well, the concession stand is a very important part of our business, and I, you know, Susan more or less takes care of that. You have to have something that is quickly made to get the people in and out of the snack bar and back to the movie. Refresh yourselves, it's time to eat. So come on, folks, let's join the band as we all head for the refresh man's I mean, people bring their lounge chairs and they bring their blankets and they're out here and they're really having a good time and they're just laid back. You don't have to get dressed real fancy. Just come as you are and have a good time. 
Yes, I remember steamy windows. Um, other people's steamy windows, of course, not mine. But you know, when you're in a drive-in movie, part of the fun is not only watching the movie, but watching the other people in the drive-ins. Just to wonder, you know, what they're doing. You see steamy windows over here. You see them bouncing around over there. It's a constant battle with the drive-in, but um, encouragement and, and participation, people patronizing drive-ins, you know, will help a lot. Whether they're coming with their families, their pets, or just looking for a little romance, people are still taking advantage of Richard Hollingshead's good idea and coming to the nation's drive-ins.